An Iowa mother used one of her own children as a pawn in a scam, and she avoids jail time but may never have contact with her children again. Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. John is off this evening. Happening locally live at 5, 6 News is in court as an Iowa mother is sentenced for defrauding her neighbors. Letha Slauson will not serve any jail time. She pleaded guilty to five charges, including child endangerment, and could have to serve up to 21 years in prison. Slauson claimed her daughter had cancer, even gave her chemotherapy drugs, then used the girl for personal gain, bilking thousands of dollars out of her small Iowa community before being exposed as a fraud. I could write you a book, but you don't know me. You only know me by all the stories. For Letha K. Slauson, that book wouldn't have a happy ending. She's the Iowa mother accused of using her five-year-old daughter as a pawn in a scam. I'm starting to feel like a new person. I went from hearing voices and seeing things, anger and sadness all the time, to learning to be normal. After her ruse was uncovered, Slauson claimed deep remorse for what she did. Now it was finally out. I felt like a weight was off my shoulders. A psychologist analyzed Slauson, saying she had mental disorders that she was unable to control and she couldn't stop once that game began. To punish her in an external way, such as going to prison, isn't really going to help her in any manner um, because in some ways she's already within a prison within herself. After the diagnosis, Slauson says she began to see how she had wronged one of her five children. I hope in time everyone will forgive me. But Judge Kathleen Kilnoski says Slauson knew exactly what she was doing. The judge agreed that prison wouldn't give Slauson the help she needs, but she wanted the mother to forever be marked with a scarlet letter, felony convictions for two counts of child endangerment. The nature of these offenses are huge. Any time a person commits a crime against a child, it is abhorrent. But when the person committing that crime is also the child's parent, it is even more repugnant. Judge Kilnoski sentenced Lawson to 10 years in prison, but set the sentence aside, opting for five years of probation. And the mother is not to have contact with any of her children. Letha K. Lawson now begins a new chapter in her life, but will forever be followed by her past. With producer Roger Hamer in Atlantic, Iowa, Joe Chiodo, WWT6 News. If Slauson violates probation over the next 10 years, she would immediately begin serving the two consecutive five-year prison sentences. Up next for her restitution hearings, it's believed she made off with $30,000 for her daughter's treatments. Her attorney says half of that money was frozen during the investigation.